Hey everyone, welcome to graphicsdoc.com. Today I want to talk about file types and formats that you'll find on our site, specifically the difference between vector and raster images. Let's jump to an image so we can look at the different format options and what you can expect from each type. On our website, the most common formats you'll see are JPG, PNG, and EPS. First, let's talk about raster images, or JPG and PNG files. These file types consist of a single layer in which all elements are flattened or fused together. This makes them highly compatible for viewing across multiple platforms, but less versatile for editing as the graphic is essentially one piece. Also, because these files have fixed dimensions, you can see that they will start to pixelate if pushed beyond their original size. Now let's look at the same artwork in a vector file. Vector-based graphics, such as EPS formats on our website, are graphics based on mathematical expressions rather than pixels and can be edited in programs such as Adobe Illustrator and CorelDRAW. So what does this mean? Well, first it means that unlike raster images, they can be scaled infinitely without degrading or losing any quality as the various components are based off calculated areas and not set dimensions. You'll see that as we enlarge the image, it maintains the same quality. Another great feature about vectors is that we can also select and modify elements within the image as they're stacked in separate layers, which offers a great amount of freedom to customize and design the image. So as a quick summary, raster images are found in JPG and PNG formats on graphic stock. These images have fixed pixel dimensions that can lose quality when pushed beyond their original dimensions so they're commonly referred to as flattened images as they consist of only a single layer. But this makes them a great viewable format, and they're commonly used in photos and web. Vector images are found in an EPS format on graphic stock. These images are based off mathematical expressions, so they can be resized indefinitely, and they can be manipulated with individual elements. This allows for a highly editable format, so it's commonly used in design and print production. I hope this was informative for you in getting started with understanding formats and images on the website. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.